So today is a very exciting day. Today is closing day again on but on the new house. So my plan for today is to go close on the house, get the keys, drop everything off that's in my car because it's loaded. That's my son talking back there. And then go make a little run to the store to get some supplies and get some utilities turned on. So I'm not going to show everything part of closing but i do want to show you like a little bit of an empty house tour and i guess you can call it empty but it'll be stuff in it stuff that i brought with me not like furniture and stuff like that today so stay tuned Alrighty, so closing is done. It is now 10 to 14. We started like around 9 o'clock. So closing is done here. I got keys. We're going to go to the house, unload the stuff, do a little bit of a walkthrough, and then we are going to go to Target and pick up the order and call some other places to get everything set up. So we'll be in the house for a little bit, and I'll show you guys how it looks because... When I say level up, this is a level up, people. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, it is Friday. And the last time I think I recorded something was Monday, the day of closing. So I did want to do an empty house tour. Excuse the noise. I am out in the country and people are passing by. But behind me is our new house. All right, so I want to do an empty house tour because there's no furniture in it right now but there will be very soon but just so you can see how we have leveled up okay so this is a driveway walking down the driveway and to the right is the garage door two-car garage door or two-car garage and I got like a little extra little area right here then this is the front door. Front door. Let's go in. You walk in, and I know you see the fireplace immediately. That is a gas fireplace. But to the left here, or to the right here, is the dining room area. Look at that beautiful chandelier lamp thing. All right. So we're going to go over to the guest rooms first on this side. So this is a guest room and you have to forgive the beeping because that is a smoke detector. I just got some nine volt batteries to change that. So this is one of the guest rooms or the main guest room. And this is what the closet looks like. So it already came built in with like the little rods and stuff like that. So all you gotta do is hang clothes up, okay? And it has double doors. So it's two doors to open up the closet. I think that's cute. All right. Next, we have the guest bathroom. Now this is actually gonna be, this is actually right now my son's bathroom. So we got the single vanity with the drawers and the cabinets, toilet, tub, shower. So that's pretty much his bathroom. So this side of the house is gonna be his domain for now. This is kind of where we've been sleeping. Um, I'll give you a little bit of view of the backyard from here. But yeah. So, that's this room. And then if we come over back to the right, this big area right here is the living room area. We'll come back out and go back outside because it's a really nice day. This is like the little kitchen nook area. I'm not sure what kind of furniture I'm going to put here yet, but we'll figure that out in a minute. Um, this is the master bedroom here. You look at the ceiling. I got the lights up in the ceiling, the ceiling fan, and I have two windows back here. And this, my friends, is, ta-da, a master bathroom fit for a queen. Okay, we got the double vanities here with the drawers. We got the separate tub and shower, and there's a um, a rain, like a rainforest shower head up there. We got the garden tub, beautiful. And then we got the other vanity here, so it's plenty of cabinet space in here. And then a really cool thing is 
We got a water closet, which is just a toilet and some cabinets. And then over here we have ta -da, the master bedroom closet. So I got two, um, I guess, rods here to put stuff. There's shelving here, drawers here, more rods, more shelves here. Then I got stuff all the way up there. Like, so I had to get like a ladder in order for me to like put stuff all the way up there. But yeah, so that's the master bathroom. And this house is, this house is pretty big, so keep, keep following me here. There's, there's more to show. All right, the kitchen. So first and foremost, we got this little area right here. I think I'll make this like my beverage drink making bar area, I think. Um, my refrigerator got delivered on Monday when we kind of moved in, so we got the LG. Knock knock with the craft ice. If you're not familiar with the craft ice, it's the little round um, ice balls. It's so cool. All right, we got all these cabinets here. All these cabinets here. We got the um, that is a propane. Um, gas stove. I've never had like this kind of stove before. So for canning, I feel more comfortable. I just touched something. <laughs> for canning, I feel more comfortable canning on this than I did my um, glass top stove in my old house. So um, I'm probably going to do some canning. So a um, whole new perspective. I will be reaching out. Uh, so we got more cabinets, more cabinets, more cabinets, more cabinets. <laughs> Over here, we got more cabinets, microwave, um, built. Well, I hope you have enjoyed our, my little empty house tour. It's not the best, but there'll be more stuff to come. There'll be more stuff to come as, um, as we, you know, continue to move in and get situated and get settled. You know, I have more things to share with you. All right. Until then, everyone, do not give up on your hopes and dreams. Keep pushing forward. I want you to stay encouraged in any situation because God knows this situation has not been the best for me. Okay, people? It has not.